Okay, the time is 7.01, and we are going to call the Town Council meeting of Monday, June 10th, 2024, to order. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Jack Perry. Here. Jennifer Clock. Here. Michael Del Santo. Present. Valerie DePaolo. Here. William Diedzik. James Morelli. Here. Tony Morrison. Here. Christopher Palmeri. Here. Paul Chaplinski. Here, and I did hear from Councilman Dietzik. He said he was going to be able, unable to attend today's meeting. If we can please stand for the prayer and the flag salute. Heavenly Father, may we consider the people of Southington and always render what is right for our citizens. Help us to be compassionate while still seeking what is appropriate for the entire community. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If everybody can remain standing, we'll we'll just uh, take a moment and have a moment of silence for Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier. Thank you. Okay, we are moving on to agenda item number two, uh, approval of our meeting minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the mi meeting minutes? Okay, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the motion, and no abstentions, motion ca carries uh, eight to zero. Uh, council person communications, if it's okay, I'd like to just start off um, and uh, just say a quick thank you to all of the uh, state police, um, the Southington police, the Southington fire, um, emergency responders, our, also our, our town staff of um, many different kinds who are involved in many different ways. The town of Southington, the neighbors, the, the communities, um, Trooper First Class, uh, Aaron Pelletier's services um, last week, as everybody knows, were in town. It was a difficult time for the community, difficult time for the family, and um, everybody who was involved in helping to, um, to ensure that the services were done in a dignified and an honorable way um, did so with class. And I just wanted to express my gratitude and, and say thank you to everybody who was involved. Um, I did have an opportunity also to speak with the police chief. And um, many of you probably saw um, some of the kind words that came from the police department. But I, I just wanted to express that, um, you know, he, he had a lot of great things to say about, about all the coordinated efforts. And um, also a special thank you to the state police as well. The work that was done with the state police the efforts that they did, the coordination that they did with, with our police and fire, um, he said was you know one of the most uh, amazing um, things that they've done. Uh, and, uh, and he very much appreciated being uh, you know, right there along with the state police every step of the way um, to the greatest extent possible. So thank you to everybody who was involved in, in a very difficult, um, very difficult week. Okay, I will turn it over. Who else would like to? Yes. Just a Ch quick reminder, on Wednesday evening at 5.30 at the drive-in pavilion, we're having our dedication for Mr. LaPorte. So if you guys are free, I'd, I'd love for you all to come. Very brief ceremony, 5.30. Shouldn't take uh, more than probably 45 minutes. Thank you. So everyone's welcome. The public are welcome as well. Thank you. That's Wednesday. Wednesday. Drive-in pavilion. Drive-in pavilion, 5.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m. That'd be great if everybody could try to make it out there. Okay. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. So I, I guess this is a question maybe directed towards Mark. Um, last week we didn't have our public works meeting. It got canceled, and I was going to follow up with it at that time. Um, but I've had a few residents, I think three in total now, and ask why Hart Street is closed and, you know, an officer there 24-7. So is it possible that we could, if the road is closed just like S Mountain, is it possible just to put some Jersey barriers down to obviously make it safe? I know uh, we coordinate with the police department on that. There's a police officer there. We keep we try and keep one lane open. The reason why it's happening. No, both lanes are closed. Today? Uh, as of Sunday. Okay, because they, they're trying to keep one lane open at all times, but uh, uh, certainly Annette, myself, and, and Jack are in constant contact. Uh, the reason why it's happening is because we have stormwater, a drainage pipe that collapsed, and that's causing the problem. Uh, the lining company that, uh, that has the stormwater uh, that's going to fix it is still a couple of weeks out. So uh, they're trying to keep the, at least like I said, one lane open. But uh, I can get a report for you uh, from Annette and yeah. Jack. Yeah, if, if you can, because um, obviously it's a cost to the town, and, and again, these three residents now in total um, have asked me, and I have not, you know, sent an email or asked you yet, but if you could get an update, because I think the last email you sent was May 28th from Annette. Yeah, the cost, the, the cost of the town is trying to keep the road open. That's what we've been trying to do. The cheapest thing, of course, is closing it, which we don't want to do, so we're going to try and keep it open as, as much as we possibly can. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday, I believe. Were both, both lanes. lanes were closed, if I remember correctly. I'll get an update for you. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Anybody else? <clears throat> Thank oh. you, Mr. Chair. So I just have a couple quick announcements. Um, the farmer's market is beginning um, Friday, June 21st, and as they begin it, they, have, uh, they also coordinate uh, that as a community day. So along with all the, the vendors that are typically there, uh, the story time for the kids, the music, uh, there'll be uh, representatives from the, um, the Southington Police, Southington Fire, um, the Early Childhood Collaborative, the library, and they, the contact person, Denise Napoli, reached out to me if we would like to be present, uh, any of the council members uh, were welcome to be there. So I just wanted to let you know it's Friday, June 21st, 3 to 6. I don't think we need a table. I think we could just kind of walk around. Mr. Chair, you think, you know, there, there should be a table uh, for us set up? I think last I year. I think if we're there. I think, I mean, it's just a night. It's just a lot of people are there. They're coming out to kick off the farmer's market. So, so I just wanted to, she wanted me to extend the invitation to everybody. Thank you. We could just kind of walk around. Is that so, okay? Sounds great. So if everybody can do their best to be there. Yeah, I mean, I three know to six. we're working. It's, so the far, it's when the farmer's market is typically yep. three to six. Okay. And it starts, did you say June Friday, 23rd? I, um, Friday, June 21st. Okay, 21st. Yep. Thank you, Val. And then just one other thing. I know we, saw, we received an email on this, but this is the uh, Bread for Life. Uh, they're doing a memorial food drive. Um, on Saturday, this Saturday. It's to benefit the Bread for Life Summer Lunch Program, and it's in honor of, um, it's uh, Cheryl Jankura, um, but it's also in honor of uh, a lot of the uh, teachers and coaches that um, have, have passed. So Saturday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., and if you go on their um, website, they have a, a wish list of different things that they'll, that they'll need. So just to, to put that out to everybody. Wonderful. Thank you. Chris. I've got, got a bunch of things, but all quick, hopefully, and, and um, um, positive, I think. Um, I had the pleasure, actually, with Val, of working at the drive-in, um, volunteering this, this past weekend. So just a thanks to the drive-in committee. It's such an asset to have that um, in our community and to see so many people from other towns. It's bringing in business into Southington. Um, using the restaurants, even the banks, you know, right in that area. So huge thanks to um, the driving committee, um, especially um, Mike Vizzullo, Don Maselli, and Dave Zoni, who basically are the three that, that organize everything. Um, just a reminder to the community, this Thursday is graduation, so congratulations to all um, our seniors graduating um, from the high school on Thursday. Um, Weather looks good so far, so hopefully it'll be a great 
uh, a great day to celebrate our seniors and, and their accomplishments in Southington Public Schools. Um, with that, with the end of the school year, um, I just want to share and acknowledge a couple individuals. Um, we have a lot of ded dedicated teachers and paraeducators that work directly with our students firsthand. Um, so Southington Public Schools um, shared our paraeducator of the year is, uh, his name is Mike Serafino. Um, he's from Stellar. Um, so he was named the District Paraeducator of the Year. And Teacher of the Year, the announcement was made today, um, is Patricia Pettit, who's a teacher at Southington High School. Um, so Mike and Patricia, congratulations on your well-deserved honor um, being re recognized um, by Southington Public Schools. Um, a couple, uh, last meeting I mentioned um, two um, students that are gonna be juniors in high school. Um, we're looking for ambassadors for the Apple Harvest Festival. So that application is now um, live. Um, so if anyone has any questions, they can reach out to me. My contact information is on the town website. Um, but we're looking for juniors in high school to volunteer and help out with the Apple Harvest Festival as ambassadors. A um, couple more um, good things. So with LEAF, um, they're, they're starting their 18-week um, summer CSA program, which starts um, June 11th, which is tomorrow. Um, so you can sign up at <coughs> www.leafct.com. Um, it's, it's great to support um, LEAF in, in town, and they do a great job with the produce that they provide. And finally, um, this is for all students ages 8 to 11. Um, with, in partnership between LEAF and the Recreation Department, we have a new program that we're offering called Intro to Farm Camp, again for eight children ages 8 to 11, um, and it will run from July 29th to August 2nd, 9 a.m. to noon p.m. daily, and that registration is now available on southingtonrec.com. So if anyone's interested, again, ages 8 to 11, um, wonderful new program, Intro to Farm Camp. Excellent. Thank you. A lot of good stuff. Anybody else? Jim? Mr. Chair, I, I just wanted to say that I, I had the honor on Saturday, June 1st, um, in Trumbull at the State Convention for the Elks to award Michael Johnson from the Southington Lodge a uh, citation of appreciation for his 30 plus years of service to the town of Southington. And uh, he was quite honored to have June 1st be Michael Johnson Day in Southington. So again, a shout out to all his dedication and the things he does for our town. <clears throat> and it was on behalf of the entire town council. It's wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. Uh, and then I want to give a final acknowledgement to the uh, girls softball team and the boys baseball team for making a good run this year. A little bit short, just almost made it, but um, provided a lot of great uh, opportunities for people to go out and support. And uh, we're very proud of uh, how far you made it and uh, looking forward to next season as well. So congratulations. Okay, with that, we're gonna move on to reports of special committees. Open space. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, we have two updates. Uh, the first is uh, many of you are familiar with our Milldale train depot. And um, if you didn't know, this was recently featured in our in the uh, Rail Space News magazine, our Milldale Train Depot. And so people saw this, and Phil Wooding is working with a model train engineer group who have shown some interest in showcasing two of their track and train displays at our train depot. Um, which we think will be a great draw to the community. Um, and so sta town staff and, and the committee are working out the logistics of this to see if, if, this is a, if there is a viable way forward to host the display. So more to come on that. Um, two great news. Uh, we, we have a grant that was approved. We received $7,000 in grant money for uh, the Recreational Trails Grant. And that will be used for the construction of two footbridges that will span Patton Brook um, which will allow for year-round passage of the loop um, train on the site. So the work on those two footbridges may begin as soon as the fall. That is all. Excellent. Any questions on open space? Just, just a comment. Chris. Um, just because he's here, I want to thank Representative Poulos, um, who alerted me back originally to that grant. I want to thank Chairman Clock, Chairwoman Clock, um, 
who, once he told me, we, I reached out to you, we put it on the agenda, and certainly Dave LaValle for following through on everything. So, um, thank you, thank Dave, and thank you, Representative Poulos, for um, obviously it came to fruition, so we really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, and thank Good. you. Good stuff, thank you. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, we're moving on to the town manager's report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The first item I have is a, uh, is a request uh, to apply for an ARPA grant uh, for the calendar house. This is separate than from the ARPA grant that we received uh, last month. Uh, Mr. Uh, LaPre and I have been working on this for about a month and a half now, uh, just specifically looking for a grant of approximately $118,000, <coughs> no matching part at all. If you look in there, you're going to see a, a, a minivan with a rear entry lift, a uh, bunch of tables, uh, padded chairs, a mounted sink, and then about eighteen or $17,000 for new programming. Uh, this is something that uh, I think would certainly benefit the, uh, the calendar house, and the calendar house has been on a streak if they can get another grant. So uh, we're hoping to get your permission to apply for that grant. Any questions on that? Mr. Chair, I, uh, Mr. Town Manager, I just want to uh, let my appreciation known for Mr. LaPre, mm -hmm. the work he's doing there. He's, he's um, doing a really great job adding new programs all the time, and the feedback that I'm getting from residents is that uh, it's really moving in the right direction. So thank you for Mr. LaPre for all this hard work. He's doing a wonderful job. He certainly is. Thank you, Mr. Del Santo. Val? Um, just a quick question <coughs> for the, the programming. Did they talk about what like what type of program? It, is it to increase some of the programming? or? Actually, um, he's, he's looking to not only increase some of the program, but he wants to add new programming. Yeah. Um, I don't, uh, believe me, I don't micromanage. So I think no, in his particular I, case, uh, he, he's got a good handle on it. So uh, whatever program he does, I know he'll get feedback from the, uh, from the group up there. Yeah. So uh, I'm pretty confident that assuming we get the, the, the money, um, it'll be certainly beneficial. When he completes the form, though, will he have to discuss what type of programming? It just he puts general programming. Just as general programming. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. It has to be catered to 55 and above. Uh, obviously, yeah. <laughs> Any obviously. other questions? Uh, the next item I have is an appointment to the Veterans Committee. Uh, as you all know, uh, I will be going off the Veterans Committee in a couple of weeks, uh, and uh, after sp <laughs> after <laughs> speaking both with the minority <laughs> leader and the chair. Uh, I have decided to appoint Christopher Poulos Sr. of Doe Meadow Court, Southington, Connecticut. I know Chris is here. Uh, full disclosure, I think I've known Chris since I was about, uh, I don't know, 10 years old, going down good old Clinton <laughs> Beach. Um, I know that he uh, was a lieutenant colonel. Actually, you're always going to be a lieutenant colonel. Lieutenant colonel. Um, we just, I know Mike, myself, and a couple other members uh, had a... Uh, the benefit of hearing his speech at the summit the other day, and uh, he's very inspirational. And I'm not sure, do you want to say something, Colonel, or do you want to wait till public communication or say, okay, well, uh, that, that person is now appointed, and congratulations for being on the Veterans Committee. As you see, Rachel's over there, she chairs it, and uh, she'll give you all the information you need. Thank you. We do have executive session tonight. Uh, pending litigation, we'll have two attorneys who are defending us in that litigation coming into executive session. There'll be no action outside of executive session. Thank you, Mr. Town Manager. Any other questions? Just, just to follow up on, on the appointment, <coughs> because Ms. Mr. Poulos Sr. is here. Um, as, as the Town Manager mentioned, um, thank you for your service, 27 years um, in the U.S. Army as a Lieutenant Colonel, but also thank you for your service um, in West Germany during the Vietnam era from 1967 to 1969, and also he was deployed um, with the Connecticut Army National Guard during the Cuban refugee crisis in 1980. So we, we thank you for your service. Thank you, Chris, and thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Poulos. We're looking forward to it. I know when the town manager uh, brought this up as, a, as an opportunity, we didn't hesitate. We see you all the time uh, working with the veterans in, in various veteran activities. So uh, we thought it was very appropriate that you were uh, joining the team, and we look forward to, uh, to all the great ideas and continuing the great things that you do. So welcome. Okay. So we will now move on to the town attorney's report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. That's a pretty tough act to follow, so I'm simply going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> and I have no report. Okay, thank you. Any questions for the town's attorney? That was great. Throw some softballs at you. 
Okay, let's move on to public communications. Is there anybody, any members of the public who would like to speak tonight? Any members of the public who would like to speak tonight during public communication? Okay, hearing none. Well, we do have one. Oh, Rachel. oh, Rachel, come on up. Oh. She wanted to wait. She wanted to wait. You said the third time. The first yes. time was... Once, twice. Good evening. Hi, Rachel. Uh, if you'll just state your name and address for and, uh, council members, Rachel Wacky. Uh, currently the uh, chairperson of the Town of Southington Veterans Committee. And I want to thank you for uh, bringing Mr. Poulis to our committee. I think he will be an awesome asset uh, for us. And I'm looking forward to working with him, get some new ideas, and we can use help now that we're closing out on the monument names. Um, there's a lot of work still to be done, but I'm sure Mr. Poulos will be up to the task, and uh, I'm really excited about working with him. So thank you. Thank you, Rachel. And now with four, four of us on the Veterans Committee in the same room, we have to be careful about what, we don't have a quorum going on here. <laughs> okay, very good, thank you. Any other members of the public who wanted to come out and speak? No, okay, we'll close public communications and go on to old business. Uh, item A, action on the ARPA grant that we heard a little bit earlier for the Senior Center. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the action on the ARPA grant for the Senior Center that was previously presented by the town manager. Any discussion? Hearing none, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll on it? Perry? Yes. Clock? Yes. Del Santo? Yes. DePaolo? Yes. Morelli? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Palmieri? Yes. Chaplinski? Yes. Motion approves unanimously, eight to zero. And you notice there's something not on there. We actually, sorry, Jack, we actually have no tax refunds this week. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> no tax refunds today. So any uh, new business? Yes, we have no business. No new business. We're looking for a motion to adjourn into executive session. So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second, and just for the record, it's it's going to have the uh, the town council. We will have the town manager as town well, manager, town attorney, attorney, the corporation council, and our representatives on the litigation matter. Two representatives on the litigation matter. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion passes 8-0. We will now go into executive session. Thanks, everybody. And we will have...